a UFC featherweight division fight. Here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing. And it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds, fighting out of Huntington Beach, California, USA Grandmaster. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Let's go, guys. Right, getting excited as this fight gets underway. <laughs> fighter on this UFC roster is specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice loop and punch. Big head kick. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. I mean, a beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. 
Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Nice leg kick land. Back and forth we go. He's got him with his hip into that kick. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Big kick land. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. How good is that right here? Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Attack. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect job. Great place for the final both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempts to get past his guard. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. A couple hammer fists there for good measure. And they both stand up. Nice straight punch. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Just missed with that right hand. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Counters now left hook to the head lands. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Beautiful punch. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there now. There as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got a in the night. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. There, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, right punch followed by a left there by Lee. Plus right hand is true. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. That shot blocked by Lee. 
Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Unable to connect with the right. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Single collar tie here. Lee's got the tie clinch now. Good punch. Back and forth we go. Straight right hand now just misses. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Oh, he landed that knee to the midsection. Got to think his opponent's going to feel that one in the morning. And he's going to continue to throw that strike because he knows that his opponent can't take many of them. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Great punch landed with so much power. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he landed the right hand there. Big head kick land. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbows inside, because otherwise you're gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. Got the single collar tie. This fight's gonna be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Take that, take that. Take it now. Not there. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I had a time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Liver kick. Nice strike. Just misses with the right hook. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. <laughs> Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Ooh, big shot lands. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Big kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Everything works off of the jab, doubles up on it there. Clips him with the left hand. Try to establish that jab. 20 seconds left. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. That was a nice strike. Yet another combination is good. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent.
placement right underneath the elbow. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Just misses with a left hook there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. And that one was heavy. Some real power shots here. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. And that he comes knee, through with a big knee. That knee hurt him. Ah. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh! Liver kick lands under the elbow. Nice punch lands over the top. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. That shot is blocked by Lee. Now connects with a right. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just missed with the left there. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Right hand. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut lane. Nice head kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Land. Blocks the shot. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Thirty seconds to go. Punch over top. Nice leg kick. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up. 
when it comes to his aggressiveness, certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. You got the turtle in that kick. Rips the body there. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Good spin. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big kick land. See if he can finish. Just misses there with the left. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, big head kick land. Oh, pinpoint knee to the body. If you're trying to knock me out, you put one knee to the body. Every time the opponent tries to get close, he just drives that knee to the body. Great timing. Look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Whips on the straight right hand. Ooh, what a punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put some... Oh, you don't really stand. After you take a head kick like this, that is just toughness to even be on his feet right now. Yeah, head looks kick. a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Oh! Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Lee gets hit with a kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Watch knees to the body. How about that shin? Way to hide that leg kick. Flipped with a right hand counter. 
final minute to go here in round four. Little nice body kick lands. Punches blocked. Right hand punch from the clinch. Such a sneaky head kick, he did not recognize it. And now he's got a hurt bad. Oh, he is off, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, oh, that was scared PC, he's rocked. That was a beautiful hook, it landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. All right, that's the end of the round. That is not the end of the bleeding, as you see the cut on the bridge of the nose, and that thing is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. The cut man is gonna give that some attention, but that's not an ideal location either. That blood is getting into the mouth. Ugly stuff for him to deal with here. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Fifth and final round. Big right hook coming, it's tough. Trying to do damage now with the kick, that's a miss. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Just misses with the straight right. Lee going for the leg kick, he misses. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, and he caught the kick. The bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful legs. Outstanding output on both sides. Cable inches right there, yeah. boy. Oh, he got him real good, too. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen really good ground and pound fighter. This young man is as good as any you've ever seen. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, nice right hand. Yep, and he's got him secured in the half guard now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be in the oh. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Woo! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight.
there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 56 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.